So right here is a dip. I know it's hard to see. I want to fill this in, level it off. And the same thing's going to go on right here on this side, this circle here. Uh, need to fill all that in and level it off. All right, guys, you can hear the bobcat there getting my first scoop of topsoil to the topsoil compost mixture. Right, what I'm going to do is scalp. I'm going to put this on the lowest setting and you want to scalp the area off. Don't want to dig in. You don't want to rototill. Not if there's good grass. If it was a dead soil and it was dead thatch, okay. But since it's decent soil, good grass, um, I just need more soil there. So we're going to scalp it off and then we'll put soil, level it off, maybe roll it a little bit with my rolling bin. So let's get to it. Till here, scalp. Again, if it were dead thatch, then you'd have to get in there and rototill. Get all that ugliness out of the ground, but we're not going underground here. This is a scalping. Okay, scalped her down and got a two by four here. Check your leveling. So let's uh, clean her up a little bit with the rake. Get some soil on there. Okay guys, so if we take a look at this, we lay, you want to lay a board across the area that you're going to do, scalp it down, and then look, you can see underneath there, big gap. I'm going to fill all this in with topsoil. Alright guys, let's take a look at another spot, okay? So, I just finished that one. Now, you're going to start a fresh new spot, okay? There's a big gap, as you can see. Take a look down there, that is all air, space. We don't want that. So, you want to start... I'd say I started right about here is where I laid the two by four. And then from that first 12 inches, you're gonna shovel in all topsoil. And then you're gonna keep going about the size of a two by four all the way down. So you're gonna keep going down, with, flip your rake upside down. Now, you know that you have enough dirt if you do this and it starts to cover the two by four. If it doesn't cover the two by four, you need more dirt. And you can keep doing this process until, keep kicking it, until there's not enough dirt to cover the two by four. And once it's covered, just about three inches maybe. It takes a little time but if you want it done right, this is how you do it, okay? Now, as I come up, I could see, all right, my dirt's still going up to the two by four. And yeah, I'm probably gonna need to reload. This is, especially right here, you can see it's not going over the two by four. So, we'll get it right there, we'll top it off. Top that off and now I'll just shovel a bunch more right on the left side of that 2x4, kick it, and continue the process until the bottom. Again, you stop when there's no gap under there. When your 2x4 hits the ground here, over there, now if I run into the wall, I'll stop there. And then if you want to, you could go this way, but just for now, I'm going to fill all that in. All right, guys, so when you're leveling a spot, a really handy item is the two by four. So you can see what I'm doing here. Look at that gap down there, all right? That gap started all the way up there. And what I do is I slowly work the two by four back. Let me show you what I mean. So after I got it all the way up, give yourself a good two inches. Both sides, try to make it equal. And then, you simply just want to knock dirt down in there, okay? And then you're just going to keep doing this until you get to a point where there's no gap on this side. 
So eventually this wood is gonna hit about here and that's where the big gigantic gap that I wanted to fill in. So you gotta get yourself a lot of topsoil and then just keep working it back. Now guys, another tip, when you're coming down the hill, you wanna make sure you cover about half of the two by four. All right, just keep breaking backwards till you get over, say it's a little too far. And then you take your heel, give yourself some space, both sides. And you'll realize, you'll quickly realize you need more soil than you think. I thought that the hole was stopped right here. Well, no, if you keep putting your leveler out, I noticed I gotta go all the way down. There's still a gap. Most of it's filled in, but we get right to here. So if you want to be really level, you're going to need more soil than you think. Keep putting. Okay, so now we started a new gap. What I'll do is I'll come over just over the edge. And come right to at least half of the 2x4 is filled up. And that's going to be your dirt. So this is how you know when you need to add more soil is when there's not enough to go over the two by four. Okay, once you get there, you take your heel, create a little space. And you can eyeball it. Okay. Just make sure it's somewhat even. Do it again. Make sure you have enough dirt to fill into the hole and to come up on top of the two by four. If you see any little things like fuzzes, get them out of there. You don't want that into your new grass. This is September 10th, 2022. Perfect day. Tomorrow morning is rain, so I have to get my renovation project done today. This is it. Everything's got to be done. I will be out here 12 to 14 hours because I have so many holes to fill. There you go. Right, getting closer. As you can see, the gap is getting less. All right, so I come down to the point where there is no more gap down here. Then you know you've leveled out this whole spot so it's going to take time go three inches at a time work your way down but now i'll be fully level so i'll pull the two by four out smooth it out and see the rolling bin there that's going to be after you seed it once we seed it all right so when you get to the very end where there's no more gap then you take your two by four and you want to pull it out flip it up like this, shake it off, and then you take your rake, smooth that on down, and you'll have a nice level spot filled in a huge hole. I was tired of it when I was mowing. A lot more work to do, about 12 more hours at least. So when you're done, you want to spot check. So come halfway, I can see a little gap right there, right there. So I'll rake that in. pretty good so make sure you spot check yourself okay so once you have your spot ready and before you roll your spot before you aerate you're gonna roll before you aerate you're gonna roll after you aerate this is on new spots uh, you want to seed so get your seed in I like to use black beauty by Jonathan Green ultra get this on Amazon and I'll try to get a link in the description and I use the Scott's small spreader hand spread or whatever you want to call it. So let's get this down and then we're going to roll. Then that spot is completely done. We'll be ready for tonight's aeration and seeding on top of that. All right, so now you can see I got seed on the ground. You want to get your roller out. Get that good seed to soil contact. I went on Facebook Marketplace and got this for 50 bucks. Definitely check out Facebook Marketplace. I 
found out from a neighbor that the rain train that I paid 75 hours for is all over Facebook Marketplace for 10 and 20 bucks. Some of them brand new. So it's worth uh, 39 miles I drove. It was worth it to get this, to do it. So once this is done, this will be ready for aeration tonight, overseeding again, be a lot of seed down, and then roll it one more time, and this time I'll connect it to my trailer, tractor, and then uh, we'll be ready to start watering tonight. Well, there you go. What used to be a big hole, it's now flat. No one said yard yard work was not physical. You can get hurt. Oh, so let's go through the steps real quick. You are gonna <clears throat> scalp, which you could just take your lawn mower, your push mower, all the way down and mow the square out. Then you are going to lay down your top soil right on top then you're going to put down your grass seed uh, now remember I'm leaving out the leveling part so when I say put the soil that includes leveling out the grass so after you level then you're going to put your grass seed on top then you're going to put your mulching mix in this case it was Scott's three in one I put that on top so that has some starter fertilizer and other stuff food in there um, and helps protect the area. Now, once you get that done, uh, you want to water that first day at least three times a day. Guys, so when I mowed my lawn before Saturday, I mowed my lawn about Thursday, um, I went out and I kept all the grass clippings. Why? Well, get it off the lawn, but a better reason is you can use grass clippings to cover your newly seeded area lightly. Okay, so this will take the place of straw. Some people use mulch, a lot of people use peat moss. You could do it for free, organically, with grass clippings, if it's dry. So that's why you bag it, and you can see the bag is wet because it rained. It's been raining the last two days. And it's a great way to cover and protect the newly seeded area. If you lightly put the grass clippings down, don't smother it. We do not want to smother. It will break down organically. You don't, unlike straw, straw is going to leave a big mess. It's going to go in your neighbor's yard and it's going to stay there till you remove it. I love to use grass clippings. So let's go ahead, get these areas covered. Okay, got the bag open here. Beautiful, fresh, look at that. Nice and dry. Take a bigger handful. We're gonna shake it lightly. Very lightly. We do not want to smother. We do want to protect from the sun, the wind, the rain. We don't want washouts. We want to protect from birds. Birds are gonna look at all this food on the ground and go, oh. Bird seed, thank you. So, 
you can use peat moss. It's a much more expensive option. You can use straw. Again, I don't, not a fan of straw. Yes, it works. You're gonna have a mess. And it's not gonna break down organically. Just get a nice big handful. Make use of the grass clippings because you gotta mow before you start this. So you can see we're lightly covering the area for free. It's organic, breaks down and it's making good use of resources that are available for nothing. Okay, again, we're gonna take a big handful like this. Here's a new spot. Just gonna shake. We want a light covering. We do not want heavy clumps. See, if I see a heavy clump like this, I'm gonna reach down and pick it up. Not want anything heavy with this is all the light stuff that's drifting off it's the only thing you want guys it's so important after you get your get everything set and ready at three times two at least two times a day come out and moisten up the grass clippings on top of your or whatever you're protecting your seed with and you better protect it do not leave it naked do not leave your seed naked and get out two to three times a day and the whole secret is moisture the reason you cover is moisture you got to lock that in you leave that exposed and the sun's going to dry that up really something fierce unless it's super cloudy you can get away with it but cover your seed and lock in the moisture wet two to three times a day maybe five to ten minutes on flat Okay, your setting is always going to be flat. You need a light sprinkle, and you don't want to spray right on it. I prefer to spray perpendicular or parallel to the ground and let it drop down. You don't want to spray right at it like that, and you'll start moving the grass around. I'm going to do this for about three weeks. You've got to be dedicated. But you will have grass that will last a lifetime. All right, guys, so we're here at day six, and finally, we get germination. So let's see if you can look real close. I don't know if you can see it on the video. There's germination on all 40 spots I looked at. So I watered one to two times a day. Once I did three times a day, and you just want to get it wet. You don't want any puddles, no swimming at all effect you want to get it wet use grass clippings to cover you must cover 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 and you'll get great germination if you stick with it you must have starter fertilizer and seed to soil contact so i used the rolling bin and flattened all the work on every 40 spots so you feel safe to use a very heavy roller a bin Mine is very heavy and got great results. I can't wait to see all the completed sections. Okay, today is Sunday, September 28th, 2022. This is a new spot that is growing in. Let's take a look at some of the spots we started two Saturdays ago. It's coming in nice there and right there coming in nice. So good progression with the Jonathan Green. Black Beauty Ultra, the spot I started a little bit, I think six days ago. So good result. Okay guys, follow up video today is September 29th, 2022. And we're approaching the third Saturday. Right now it's a Thursday. So this will be, this Saturday will be the third Saturday and you can see that it's coming in nicely here. And we got another spot we started a week later. Now that's starting to grow in. All right, guys, we're here on October 1st, 2022. And just doing a follow-up to the grass. As you can see, it's growing in really nice in there. And right here, really growing in nice. Remember, these spots were completely flattened with the roller. 
Then the last spot, which I did not flatten as a test, as you can see, a lot of different holes and gaps in the grass. So definitely pays to flatten your seeded dirt or soil. Look how that turned out there. And look at this. Lesson learned. Flatten seed to soil contact is everything.